Education Minister Katrina Ruan, we're here today at the opening of the Belfast Girls Model School, the result of a £30 million investment facilitated by the department. Uh, is it important that the school's capital budget is maximised so that more new schools like this can be built? Absolutely. This is brilliant. We've just had a brilliant afternoon here playing badminton, cooking eggs. We're in the hairdressing salon, met the girls who want to do their science and their PE and all the various subjects. This, this is what we need for our school's estate. Um, 950 young people in this school disadvantaged areas, this is what we need. Brilliant. Uh, the Girls Model is a successful non-selective school. Is this the kind of ethos combined with the standard of facilities you'd like to see replicated across the north? Well I'm glad to see public money being used well. I'm glad to see that you know this money is being used and there is no child being told you're not clever enough to come in here or you're not good enough to come in here based on two one-hour tests. This is the way forward for the future. And what, you know, this school obviously works with the community and that's what makes it so strong. It works with parents, it works with other schools in the area. 30% of the learning is in school, 70% at home and in the community. If we're really to make a difference, we need the way this school is working. Community links. And the school takes part in your department's full service programme, which enables it to be open seven days a week. Is that important? Absolutely. This is public money. No point in us spending a fortune for the lights to be off at four o'clock uh, every day and closed at weekends. You know, I was doing an interview earlier uh, with a young woman and she goes, I come here for soccer. Um, we, I was in the computer room, the local community use it. That's public money spent wisely and that's the way it should be. Johnny Graham, you're the principal here at Belfast Girls Model. Uh, we're opening a new facilities here today. Uh, they're the result of a £30 million investment. They've been up and running for a few months now. What sort of difference have they made to school life? I think it's made a fantastic difference. For example, the girls beforehand had had uh, surroundings that were very old. Uh, a bit like myself, a bit sort of uh, past or sell by date. But now with the 21st century facilities we have, the girls can use the ICT. There's over 700 computers. There's the sports facilities. There's state of the art uh, uh, rooms in, for example, PE, drama and so on. So overall the girls have far greater facilities and it means that they can fulfil their potential. And the buildings are open here seven days a week. There's all sorts of uh, activities that happen here for the community. What sort of contribution does the school make to the community? It makes a great co contribution. For example, the school's open at 7 o'clock with the creche, right through to 10 o'clock at night with the sports hall, uh, the electronic village hall, and sometimes the performing arts theatre. So overall, the community has so many facilities, and at a very, very low cost. It's, uh, the, the community charge is very little indeed, and it means that lots of people who may not otherwise be able to use facilities like this can... Uh, partake in facilities which are just state of the art. And that's part of the Department of Education's full service program and, and part of the North Belfast City Learning Centre, is that right? You're right indeed. The full service is means along with the boys school that we uh, try and work with all the community organisations. I think there's over 72 community organisations that we are working with both in the statutory and voluntary sector and the, the North City uh, Learning Centre is the actual physical buildings that we use for the full service school. We're here with Caroline and Marlita from the Belfast Girls Model. Girls, can you tell me what do you think of your new school? I think it's really enjoyable. Um, the school offers new facilities which are really good for different people because there's different people obviously like different stuff. Have you got new sports facilities? Yeah, the sports, yeah. Facil sports facilities, large gyms, um, there's a new dance studio and gym that people can go and you know work out just in free time that they have, so it's really good. And what about ICT? Um, you know why ICT? No, I don't, not really. Oh, no, it's much better, but far better, you know, computer, computer facilities and all that, and it's just all new software and all, and just making it much more easier, and there's far more ICT rooms now, so more people can develop ICT skills with through the use of any subject, because each subject now has their own ICT computer, no computer suite, yeah. so it's much better. 
And does the new building make it more enjoyable to come to school here? Yeah, a bit, a bit far better and you're not going to a school building that's falling down around you. Here yeah. it's much more bright, no bright and colourful and it's far more, just, it's better. Me and Mary Peters, we're here today at the official opening of the Belfast Girls Model School. Your links with the school go back a long time. Can you tell us what does it mean for you to be here opening the school today? It's wonderful. It's nice to be invited here once to open the sports hall, but to be invited back to open the official school is just a real honour. And uh, I used to teach in a school called Greymind Girls Secondary School, which was the sister school of the model, and that's going back 50 years. And uh, it's clear that the, the new facilities here are absolutely first class, 21st century facilities. Do you think these kind of buildings are important for schools today? Absolutely, it gives the pupils great pride and uh, this is the second of the new schools that I've been uh, that I've visited and they're like five star hotels to me in comparison to the school that I went to but uh, these girls are getting a great start in life and I hope they appreciate it. Holly Johnson, you're the head girl here at Belfast Girls Model. Uh, can you tell us you're on some uh, sports teams, aren't you? Can you tell us about uh, the sports facilities here? Well, the sports facilities are completely different than the ones that we had in the old school and they're more suited towards people who want to become a sports person when they grow up. It's like exactly like leisure centres, so they have all the main facilities that will be able to make you a better sports person. And you've got stuff for winter sports and for summer sports? Yeah, we've got our outdoor courts for summer, so when it's the good weather we've got all our hockey pitches, tennis, netball, basketball and athletics. And inside we've got like the big hall, which will do for all them as well. and then the gym, dance suite and a gymnasium for like gymnastics and trampolining. And what do you think of the other facilities here, like uh, ICT for example? The ICT is amazing, like they've got Apple, Apple Max and stuff as well, so like it helps you like learn all different programs that are on computers. And so do the new facilities, does that make you even more determined to succeed in your school career? Yeah, I think it does, because you feel like you're better, the work, no, the facilities you've got it means that you will work harder because you feel like they're better and they'll be able to get you more of what you wanted to do. Stanley Gowdy, you're the Chief Inspector of the Education and Training Inspectorate in Northern Ireland. Uh, we're here today at the opening of the new Belfast Model School for Girls. Are these the kind of facilities you want to see going forward? These are absolutely the facilities I want to see going forward because the facilities make a real difference to the achievement capable for the uh, pupils that attend the school. I visited the school before the official opening and had the opportunity to speak to the girls and I was really, really taken with the difference that it has made to them in terms of their attitude to school, their attitude to learning. It's also a very important centre for the community that the school serves, integrating the school with its community and all of that can only be good in terms of raising standards and improving the life chances of the young girls uh, who will be the future uh, mothers and young women in the country. So the school is now well equipped to deliver the curriculum and the entitlement framework going forward? It is absolutely. It uh, allows the school to deliver in terms of extended school provision, in terms of the revised curriculum and the entitlement framework and again all of that provides us with opportunities to make these young people employable and also give them the opportunity to uh, be proper citizens within their own community and the wider community in Northern Ireland.